Today on Rips, Beards, and Gear, we check out my custom one-of-a-kind Stingray RS from Ernie Ball Music Man. It is no secret, I love me some Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray guitars. I absolutely love these guitars and I tour with them and I take them all over the place and I sweat all over them and I beat them up and I get dings all over them. That's fine, I enjoy them, I play them, it's what I like. And the reason why I like them so much is because to me anyway, they kind of have the ass of a Fender Jaguar they have the front end of a Mustang with the scale length of a Strat. And I just absolutely love the body style, which incidentally, this is not a new design. This was a Leo Fender design back in the late 70s. And you can still find vintage 70s examples of the Stingray guitars. But this particular one is kind of special. <laughs> Now this particular guitar sat in the Ernie Ball Music Man warehouse for about a year and a half. And it was originally made for another guitar player in another band that aren't actually even around anymore. But for whatever reason, it was not sent to him or given to him. And it sat until it was rediscovered recently. And then my dude, Tim, from Ernie Ball Music Man, Tim, hi, I love you. He's the handsomest rep in the music industry. I mean, just look at this baby face. He called me up and said, hey, you, uh, you're really into the Stingrays. Uh, what do you think of this? And I was like, what is that? This is a basically a run of the mill Stingray RS that has had the selector switch deleted because there's only a single humbucker in the bridge. now. This instantly reminds me of like a Jerry Cantrell style guitar. I love the single humbucker or like a Tom DeLong style guitar or something like that. Single humbucker, single volume, single tone, all business. And it also happens to be in the color Malibu Gold, which I don't think they have done any guitars in this color as of yet. I know there's some BFR stuff, but I don't think those are even out yet at the time of this filming. This is truly a one of a kind guitar. It has a rosewood fingerboard, a roasted maple neck with some lovely flamage on it. And it's just an amazing guitar. It's also quite light, but it sounds thick and huge as I've used it several times at uh, Dragged Under Rehearsal already, hence why the strap locks are on it already. And I have dinged it up a little bit. Sorry, Ernie Ball Music Man, but I absolutely love it and it feels amazing.
Now, as for my other Stingrays, I will continue to play them and use them five years from now when live shows continue, I'm being sarcastic. However, this is definitely going to be toured and get nice and sweaty like my Mr. Sparkle Stingray. I just really uh, was super stoked on this guitar and I wanted to show you guys how stoked I was because I think it's genuinely a really, really cool looking guitar. You don't see this color combination very often. And uh, yeah, just super stoked on my new fiddle. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you and then in turn you get more stuff to watch. And also I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff. There's all sorts of links to all sorts of things. So consider uh, checking that out as well if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.